that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord to minister unto him, and to bless his name unto this day. Wherefore Levi hath no part nor inheritance with his brethren. The Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord thy God promised him. The Most High used Jacob, Leah, Rachel, and two concubines to create the 12 tribes of Israel. Levi is the third son born to Jacob and Leah. Levi means attachment. Leah named her son Levi, hoping that her husband Jacob would love her and accept her as his wife. Leah and Jacob had six sons. Levi is the forefather of the Levite tribe. And she conceived again and there a son, and said, Now this time will my husband be joined unto me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. Each of the twelve tribes of Israel are unique. Each tribe have a purpose in the Israelite nation. The descendants of Levi are not counted as one of the twelve tribes that formed the nation of Israel. The Levites are Israelites and a part of the nation of Israel. However, Joseph's sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, inherited Joseph and Levi's portion in the nation of Israel. Two of the twelve tribes of Israel's founding fathers, Ephraim and Manasseh, are Jacob's grandsons. The Most High has taken the Levites for himself as an inheritance to service his house. The Levites have no inheritance with his brethren. Thus shalt thou separate the Levites from among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. Because the Most High has taken the Levites for himself, Yah had to replace the missing tribe to make sure the Israelites were twelve tribes according to the number of Jacob's sons. Joseph gained a double portion to his sons Ephraim and Manasseh. Levi had three sons, and their names were Gashan, Kohath, and Merari. Levi lived to be 137 years old. And these are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations, Gershon and Kohath and Merari. And the years of the life of Levi were at 130 and seven years. Levi was the son that fought to upkeep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. He was not afraid to be the outcast and stand with the Most High when it came time to judge his brothers. We all have heard the story of the famous golden calf idol the Israelites made to replace the Most High. When the Israelites committed the sin of idolatry, the Levites were the only tribe that chose to serve the Most High. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. Because the Levites stood with the Most High, Yah blessed the Levites and set them apart for his purpose. Israelites, it is important that you understand that the Most High anointed the tribe of Levi to oversee his house, not men. The Elohim of Israel is an Elohim of order. The Most High has a hierarchy system to govern his people. For example, the Most High has a hierarchy for the household. Everyone in the family structure has a head. When the Most High issue a decree, it must carry out the way Yah ordained it. When the Most High anoint you for a specific purpose, only you can carry out that duty. Yah made a covenant with the tribe of Levi. You should know by now a covenant is binding. The Most High will honor all covenants. It is important that you understand only the Levites can service the temple of the Most High. This is why the Levites had no inheritance with his brethren. Each of Levi's sons and their descendants had specific duties in the temple of the Most High. A Kohathite cannot take on the duties of a Gershonite. Only the Gershonites can perform the job duties the Most High gave to their father's house. A good example to help you understand that you cannot appoint yourself to do a good deed in the house of the Most High, nor to lead in his house without the Most High's anointing. 
When King David was bringing the Ark of the Covenant back to the city of David, David asked the Levites to transport the Ark of the Covenant. David knew the Levites were ordained to do the work of the Most High. Anything that had to do with the Ark of the Covenant, temple, burnt offering, and priestly duties, the Levites was in charge. Uzzah, who was a Levite, touched the Ark of the Covenant to hold it steady. The anger of the Most High burned against Uzzah, and Uzzah died right by the Ark of the Covenant. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the Ark of God, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry the Ark of God but the Levites. For them hath the Lord chosen to carry the Ark of God, and to minister unto him for ever. And when they came unto the threshing floor of Chidon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him, because he put his hand to the ark, and there he died before God. Only the Kohathite can touch the ark of the covenant. Nobody else can handle the ark, even if he or she is a Levite that descends from the other sons of Levi. You cannot serve in the house of the Most High without Yah anointing you. If Yah anointed you to praise and worship him by giving you the gift of singing and you're trying to teach, you would not be the best teacher. Most likely, you will have a hard time establishing yourself as a teacher. In addition, you will be miserable teaching. When you're operating in the gifts and talents the Most High gave you, that is when you will feel fulfilled. Here is another example to further your understanding of only the ordained person the Most High called can fulfill the job assigned to them. The Most High ordained Aaron's sons to serve as priests in the temple. Thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. The scriptures reveal to us that Levi had three sons. Only the sons of Aaron and their descendants can serve as priests. Here is a genealogy of Aaron descendants. Aaron descend from Levi, second son Kohath. Kohath had four sons, and their names were Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel. Aaron, Moses, and Miriam descend from Amram, Kohath's firstborn son. And the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izar, and Hebron, and Uziel. And the children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam. The sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. The Most High gave the job of handling the Ark of the Covenant to the Kohathites, the same family clan Aaron descends from. Not all the Kohathites are priests. Only Aaron's sons are the priests. I have heard many refer to the Levites as the priestly tribe. That is incorrect. Not all Levites are priests. Only Aaron's sons and their descendants. The high priest can enter the sanctuary in the Holy of Holies. Anyone who was not from Aaron's bloodline who came close to the sanctuary was put to death. And thou shalt appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. Aaron had two sons who offered strange fire to the Most High. The Most High did not excuse their error. The Most High do not play when it comes to his statutes he set for his people to follow. Like Uzzah, they were killed on the spot for their mistake. And they dampened by who the sons of Aaron took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon, and offered a strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord, and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Israelites, let the fate of Aaron's sons Nadab and Abihu be a testimony to those of you who observe the holy days in error. In the awakening, every assembly and camp observed the set-apart holy days on different dates. The Israelites who choose to observe those days are ignoring the Book of Jubilee, informing them that we would keep those days in error. As usual, Israelites are being stiff-necked and offering the Most High strange fire. I do not know when will our people learn that the Most High do not play when it comes to His laws, statutes, and commandments. Doing the best that you can is not acceptable with the Most High. It has to be done the right way every time or Yah will not accept your sacrifice. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings in your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. 
for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. Due to Levi's obedience, the Most High set him and his descendants apart to care for his temple. Levi displayed a character trait to defend and to hold others accountable in observing the Most High's laws. Levi was never afraid to rain judgment upon all who transgressed the laws of the Most High. Levi stood with the Most High when the Israelites commit the abominable sin of idolatry through the golden calf idol. Levi and his brother Simeon took matters into their own hands to revenge their sister Dina when a heathen defiled her. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword, and came upon the city boldly, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. Although Levi was ordained to care for the house of the Most High, he was not perfect. He allowed the spirit of anger to lead him into making bad decisions. Through his decisions to slaughter the heathens who defile his sister, Jacob had to rebuke Levi and Simeon for taking revenge. The Most High said to us, revenge is his, he will repay. Jacob cursed Levi and Simeon's anger. It is important, Israelites, that you watch what you say. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Due to the curse Jacob placed on his sons, the Levites struggle with anger. The spirit of anger revealed itself in Moses. The spirit of anger influenced Moses when he slew the Egyptian and when the Most High asked Moses to speak to the rock. Moses disobeyed the Most High and hit the rock. Moses allowed his anger to have its way and it cost him. He was not allowed to enter the promised land. Although he was ordained to lead the Israelites into the promised land, Yah chose Joshua to lead the Israelites after Aaron and Moses' death. The curse Jacob spoke on his sons came back to hunt his grandson, Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock, so thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord, as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock, and he said unto them, here now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believed me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. Covenants travel from one generation to the next. If you have children, speak life into them, not curses and death. Covenants made multiple generations prior will come back and hunt them if the covenants are not dealt with properly. The role the Levites play in the Israelite nation is crucial. Before the Most High gave us his Holy Spirit, the Most High communicated with his people through the Levites and the ordained prophets. The ordained priests would sacrifice the offering on an altar built to the Most High. Once the Most High accepted the offering, the Spirit of the Most High would come upon the ordained prophet. The prophet would reveal to the Israelites, thus says the Most High. Today, Satan has taken the system the Most High created to communicate with his people, transformed it into a witchcraft religion system. Everything the Most High have done and prophesied to do, Satan has imitated. That is how Satan is deceiving the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Satan took the prophecies of the Most High, imitated to deceive the masses. That is how Satan became the god of this world. When Satan imitate the prophecies of the Most High, he can easily deceive the people into accepting the wrong path. Religion was formed through Satan imitating the Israelite culture. Every form of religion has taken parts of the Israelite culture to establish itself. 
Satan has taken the birthright of Ishmael to establish the Islam religion. Satan has taken the Israelites' identity and its custom to form the religion called Judaism. Satan has taken the identity of the Most High to establish the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church. The harlot has given birth to the Protestant Church. In those pagan churches is where multiple idols are being worshipped. Every religion is abusing the Israelite culture, just like how everyone is benefiting from Black culture except Black people. The witchcraft church is a carbon copy of the Levitical tribe's responsibility to the Israelite nation. Today, the church is where Israelites in their slumber go to interact with idols pretending to be the most high. The kingdom of darkness established the church to deceive the world into believing they are serving the Elohim of Israel. Some people who join the church wholeheartedly believe they are serving the Elohim of Israel. Satan's half-truth are deceiving the people. If the people take the time to research the history of the church, spend time in the presence of the Most High, they will soon realize the witchcraft church system is an imitation. The church is far from the Most High. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. The way Satan imitate the Levitical tribe is by setting up workers of iniquity to play the roles of the Levite priests and the Levites who care for the temple of the Most High. The pastors and bishops would be the priests, deacons, evangelists, and all other spiritual leaders would be the Levites the Most High gave to Aaron and his sons to care for the temple. And I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and to his sons from among the children of Israel to do the service of the children of Israel in the tabernacle of the congregation and to make an atonement for the children of Israel, that there be no plague among the children of Israel when the children of Israel come nigh unto the sanctuary. The kingdom of darkness appointed the spiritual leaders you see in the church. If the church was of the most high, then the tribe of Levi would facilitate the service and work at the church. In the witchcraft church system, the heathens are the leaders. The leaders in the black church are Israelites who have lost their identity, just as the scriptures state, and they are following the footsteps of the workers of iniquity. The heathen school system trained them to be pastors instead of the Holy Spirit. The Most High prophesied that his people would serve gods that their ancestors have not known, gods made out of wood and stones in the land of their captivity. The Israelites in the witchcraft church system and other religious faith are doing exactly what the scriptures said, serving other gods. The Lord shall bring thee, and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Our ancestors were not members of an organized religion or a church. Our people would meet in their neighbor's house, and once a year at the appointed time, they would travel to Jerusalem to the only temple the Most High acknowledged. There the Israelites would observe the feast days. Today, the temple is non-existent. The carbon copies the kingdom of darkness planted all over the world are there to keep you in rebellion. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High do not change. It is important that you understand the purpose of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple, not the church. If the spirit of the Most High dwell in you, what spirit is in the church? The church buildings the kingdom of darkness planted all over the world are altars built to idols. The offerings the heathens are giving in the church are offerings made to devils. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Israelites, can you discern how the kingdom of darkness stole the Levites' anointing by imitating the tribe of Levi through religious leaders? Satan transformed the communication system the Most High created for his people into witchcraft and sorcery. There is nothing new under the sun. If you allow the Most High to open your eyes, he will remove the scales from your eyes and show you how Satan has deceived the masses. The tribe of Levi is a set-apart tribe. The Most High cleansed the tribe of Levi, made them holy in order to perform the duties in the temple. Take the Levites from among the children of Israel and cleanse them. And thus shalt thou do unto them to cleanse them. Sprinkle water of purifying upon them. Let them shave all their flesh, and let them wash their clothes, and so make themselves clean. And let them take a young bullock with his meat offering, even fine flour mingled with oil. And another young bullock shalt thou take for a sin offering. And thou shalt bring the Levites before the tabernacle of the congregation. 
thou shalt gather the whole assembly of the children of Israel together, and thou shalt bring the Levites before the Lord, and the children of Israel shall put their hands upon the Levites. And Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord for an offering of the children of Israel, that they may execute the service of the Lord. Today, anybody can be a pastor or a spiritual leader. Anyone can open their own church and shepherd the people of the Most High. If you have money, Satan's pastors will do anything you want. The most vile and wicked things are happening in the church. The Most High is exposing the church. One by one, the disciples of Satan are falling. Israelites, the Most High is not in the church. Satan has taken the sacred things of the Most High and polluted. Satan wants to be like the Most High. Religion is the gateway Satan needed to receive the worship he desired. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The Most High is not calling for his people to join a church. You are in the land of your captivity to repent and humble yourself. Satan is slowly removing the Most High out of the scriptures. Satan has successfully removed the Israelites out of the scriptures. He replaced them with his chosen people, the Jews. Satan has already replaced the laws of the Most High with laws created by men. The church do not follow the laws of the Most High. According to their traditions, the laws are done away with. Remember, Levi was an observer of the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Levi was not afraid to enforce the laws of the Most High. That is why he was chosen to service the temple of the Most High. If you listen to the workers of iniquity that are imitating the tribe of Levi, they will insist anything that has to do with the Elohim of Israel is done away with. The church is out of order. Satan, through the Roman Catholic Church, created the abomination that caused desolation. The heathens proclaim this image is the Elohim of Israel in the flesh. Christianity professed that they are followers of Jesus Christ, not the Most High. The Elohim of Israel command his people not to create any images nor worship any graven images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. It is time our people realize the church and the Most High have nothing in common. The church sin against everything the Most High represent. An important detail, Israelites, you need to understand. Our nation is in exile. Also, the Most High is judging his people for the sins of our ancestors, idolatry, and disobedience. Our temple is destroyed and the heathens occupy our land. The temple Solomon built is the only temple the Most High placed his name. The church buildings our people gather in every Sunday is not of the Most High. The Most High command his people to live among the heathens in the land of their captivity. Yah did not instruct his people to join their religion nor to follow the heathens. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Satan's witchcraft church system is not for us. The heathens are doing what they are supposed to be doing, worshiping idols and living a vain life. The purpose of the awakening is to help us recognize our sins and return to serving our Elohim. If we were serving the Elohim of Israel in the church, we would not find ourselves in these sad conditions. The Most High allow your enemies to increase the attack, to wake you up, and to get you back on the straight and narrow road that leads to life. Levi, the forefathers of the tribe of Levi, served the Most High. He was not afraid to stand by himself. He was not afraid to correct his brethren when they transgressed the laws of the Most High. Satan has imitated the Levite tribe to form the church and religion. Through this witchcraft church system, the sins of Israel continue to increase. Israelites, open your eyes and allow the Most High to show you your transgressions. The only way we will triumph over our enemies is through repentance. Satan will continue to manipulate, deceive, and steal from you. You have to make the decision to stop allowing yourself to be manipulated by the kingdom of darkness. The Holy Spirit dwell in you and the Holy Spirit will reveal truth to you. Anything you need to know, the Most High will reveal. The church is for those who have a form of godliness, but far from it. The Most High is calling his people out of Satan's witchcraft religion system, out of the house of bondage, the church. Israelites, it is time that you take heed to his cry and come out of religion. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, 
come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. <laughs>